Hello, this is Kurt Gowdy Shark Hunting, and today I am going to do a video, a walkthrough, um, on how to make a shark rig. Uh, there's a couple supplies you need. This is very, very basic. Um, some people have wanted me to do shark rigs. They have emailed me and commented and all kinds of other stuff. They've sent me messages and said that they want me to teach them how to make a shark rig. Um, this is very, very basic. Um, this is probably the minimum, really, because I don't go out and target two-foot sharks. Uh, okay, I target five-foot sharks and over. Um, first thing you're going to need, you're going to need hooks, pretty much. And then this is just one hook that I use. This is a 7 on Gamagatsu circle hook. There's no barb on this hook, as you can see that right there. There's no barb. I crushed down the barb and broke it off. There's no need to have a barb unless you're casting rigs. If you're have uh, if you're paddling baits out, you have zip zip ties that hold the hook in place. Um, when you're out on a boat, it's not going to come out of the shark's mouth, and it's in, and it kind of helps to keep the bait in. But you can use zip ties for that too, and just tie it into place of fishing line and stuff like that. It makes it a lot safer for the release, and it makes it a lot safer for the shark. Uh, you can easily get the hook out and it doesn't tear the shark's mouth up at all. Making too much because they stop eating after a couple days when the hook's taken out. This will speed that process up. They'll stop eating for about two days and then that then they'll start eating again. You'll need some barrel swivels. These are the minimum barrel swivels I use for shark fishing. I prefer 400 or 500, even 700 pound barrel swivels, but uh, this is 175 pound barrel swivels. You'll need uh, crimps for your mono leader, which this is Offshore Angler Extreme 200 pound smoke blue uh, mono leader. This is 100 yards, it's about 13 bucks to get a big 100 yard roll. Um, it's very, very thick, which this is not going to be the main leader, this is going to be pretty much the shock leader or the leeway leader. Um, your main leader, when I, on my smaller rigs, um, a lot of times I'll use piano wire. Uh, this is 140 pound piano wire. I'll cut a piece for you guys. Piano wire, you do not want to go over four feet with a piece of piano wire. Uh, if you do, it'll just, it has a tendency to kink, which will, thus it will pretty much ruin your chances and uh, weaken the line when it kinks, especially when fish jump. Uh, this right here should be a good piece. You trim it with a pair of cutters. And this is about a four foot section. Um, this is four foot section of leader. And that's 140 pound Malin wire. Uh, another thing you're going to need is yeah, you got the offshore extreme, but I already have a pre-cut piece. It's low memory, which I like about it. Um, this is about a five, five and a half foot piece. It's smoke blue, so what we're going to do first, we're going to take our wire. I'm going to teach you how to do a haywire twist. You want to make sure that you don't use up a ton of the line. Put it through about like that. That's about four inches bend it onto itself. And you want to start the wrapping pr process. You get as close as you can and wrap once. If you guys can see that, you wrap once. And that's how you get it started. And that's the people thing people most mess up on is when they're doing that. And you just start wrapping it as close as possible. The far People wrap them farther away. Uh, that's not the proper way to do the knot. You want to wrap it close, which most people don't really know how to do that. I figured this out on my own, how to wrap it so closely. When you wrap it far away, it gives it leeway to, so it can kink and it will weaken the line when you have it far away. It just it will slide all over the place and it's a real pain. Especially when you lose your first good fish because you were lazy and didn't want to do, do it the proper way. You want to make sure this is at least about a half inch of wrap. Um, there you go, you got that. 
Now piano wire is not as pretty as 49 strand. 49 strand works very, very well, don't get me wrong. Um, but I really just prefer to use heavy piano wire. I'll go all the way up to 300 pound piano wire. I'm not afraid to do that if that means that it won't break through. Um, so you do the same thing with the barrel swivel, same exact thing. You loop it over onto itself, you get it very, very close to the uh, to the knot, the eye, and you wrap it the same exact way. If you guys can see that, see how close that is? Um, and this wire is pretty much only just to give it in case you deep hook them in the mouth. It, this is only to keep that uh, in place just so that it, he cannot cut through because um, if you use 49 strand especially the thin stuff um, they can cut through bigger sharks such as tigers especially tigers uh, big bull sharks uh, will cut through easily too um, so if you're using if you have to use 49 strand which I like using a lot of times for all my casted rigs are 49 strand much easier to handle um, and I've never really deep hooked a fish in the mouth before uh, or even in the gut with a circle hook so that's not really that much of a problem so uh... You keep wrapping it's almost it's pretty good I'm gonna cut that there you want to cut it as close to that is possible and some people break it off which I have a hard time breaking it off I just I do not prefer breaking it off I like cutting it um, so that's about that went down to about a three foot section with bigger sharks use a five, about a four foot section of this now on to I had my your uh, 200 pound mono 200 pound mono is very very thick and it's just it's the very minimum that you want to use. Even though it's thick, mono is not that abrasion resistant. Braid is very abrasion resistant, but using braid as leader is never really a good idea. It's just, there's no point of really using braid as leader. Um, that's what mono is for. And you want to double crimp, double crimp absolutely everything. Um, I've single crimped and a single, single crimp will work if you're using lighter drags uh, but crimps can slip um, so my recommendation do not cut the corner with saying that it's expensive yeah it's expensive but trust me you're gonna be sorry if you go with one crimp and have to crank your drag down you end up losing a good fish um, so yeah double crimp everything that means put two crimps in one side, put your your uh, swivel in, your, this is very minimum, I'll go all the way up to 500 pounds, uh, 500 pound uh, line when doing this, you can do that. Uh, so 200 is about very minimum, it's just to give it leeway and it's also to give it something where you can hand line. Hand lining braid is not fun trust me I've been down that route and it's very very painful now you're gonna wanna crimp in between the crimps just in between each crimp but very very lightly just just very lightly just to hold that in place